In the 130 year history of boat tours at the base of the mighty Niagara Falls, never before had boats been in the water in March. Well, our own Louis Butko was on this year's very first ride. The annual opening of the world famous boat tours is dependent on the buildup of ice on Lake Erie and the removal of the ice boom, which diverts the amount of ice entering the Niagara River from the lake. This year, thanks to good conditions, officials were able to set sail in winter for the first time ever. So right around the you know, mid to latter part of February, our marine group started to look at and, and sort of analyze the ice coverage on Lake Erie, the ice in the, the Niagara River. and. You know, it became more and more favorable, so the, the, the idea started getting legs, and then here we are today. Maury DiMorizio is the COO of Niagara City Cruises and says the timing was perfect to capitalize on a busy March break at the falls and hopes it's a sign of things to come to help bring numbers back to pre-pandemic levels. In 2019 was our bumper crop year. It was the best life to date that we've ever experienced here. Uh, and then, of course, we had the pandemic, and now it's been a rebuilding period. So what we're finding is, is we're not quite at 219 levels yet, but we're very close and this year actually has potential to creep up on that 19 219 level. It's not just Niagara City Cruises who are expecting a boon in 2023 as Niagara Parks board chair April Jeffs tells us they're also expecting a banner year. I think the big thing is the, the visitors coming over from the U.S. We, we want to definitely see that increase, and I think that we have seen a significant increase since the Arrive Can app has been removed and some of those barriers. We're seeing our American friends uh, coming over more often, and I think that's going to be the real key this summer. Jeff's also credited domestic tourists the last three years for helping the city's vibrant tourist industry. Niagara Falls Mayor Jim Diodati also believes that since the removal of border restrictions, this year could shape up to be one of the best and is already seeing it during this week's spring break. 2023, we've got big expectations for hitting those marks that we had prior to COVID. And especially with the attractive exchange rate right now, there's a lot of incentive for Americans to bring their money here because it will go a lot farther. 